Hey everyone, this is Chase at Rocky Mountain HVMC, and today we're giving you a closer look at the 303 Rolly Bag Unrack System lineup coming from Wolfman. So in the world of dual sport and adventure riding, Wolfman has really just become one of those common household names. You know, at Rocky Mountain, we've been using Wolfman luggage for years. We put thousands of miles on it. And with as much abuse as we have put it through, it's always held up really good and that's why we love it so much. And that's why we're also excited to announce that going into 2019 and beyond, Rocky Mountain is going to be the exclusive online retailer for Wolfman luggage. Now new from Wolfman in late 2018, they came out with the all new 303 series of bags, which includes four new rolly bags, a duffel bag, and their tin cup bag, along with their unrack system. And that unrack system is very unique because what it allows you to do is utilize these rolly bags, including the original rolly bag from Wolfman, and run them as saddle bags. So you don't need a rack system to do that. So whether you don't have one now on your bike or you don't want to go out and buy one, but you still want to have adventure luggage, that's what the system allows you to do. And it doesn't matter what size bike you have. So it's a really cool system from Wolfman. Now the name 303, that actually comes from the original area code from Colorado. And because Colorado is known as a colorful state, what's really cool about these rolly bags is they're offering them in five different colorways. So not only do those colorways allow you just to have a cool custom look for your bike, but also we think it just helps you organize your gear a bit better. So if you want to have, say, your food items in one bag, your clothing in another, your camping gear and accessories in a different one, or hygiene items, it just allows you to organize and carry your gear just a little bit better from that sense. So before we get in, we show you all the different bike setups that we have. We just want to talk about the rolly bags and the duffel bags real quick and just talk about some of the new features and the features that we really like about these. So, like I said, four different sizes, small, medium, large, and then a long in the rolly, and then you have the duffel. All of these are made from a 1000D Cordura, which is a very heavy duty material, great stitching. And one thing I love about Wolfman, all their bags are made right here in the USA. Now on the back side, you have this non-skid, non-scratch surface, which is nice, so it helps keep the bags in place. Also, it's not gonna scratch up or it's gonna keep the finish on your bike looking good. On the front side here, you're gonna have four nylon straps. Now these are gonna connect right to that either E base or the B base that we're gonna show you here in just a minute. But also what's cool is that you have these uni loops on here. So you can use these uni loops to either attach maybe a water bottle holder or as you're about to see, you can stack these rolly bags on top of each other. Now they're all going to be a roll top closure, which we like because roll top just helps keep debris and water out. Now the bag by itself is not going to be waterproof, but there's a couple cool features that they include with these. So the first, is that you are gonna have this high density polyethylene shield that comes included. So if you don't wanna use this, you don't have to, you can just take it out. But this just gives a good, nice protective barrier on the inside. But also, each rolly bag is going to come with a dry bag. So these dry bags are going to be 100% waterproof. Now, even if you're not too worried about Mother Nature getting caught in some rain, what's nice about the, the dry bag is that it just allows you to easily take these out of your bags if you're going to be taking your luggage or your items with you. Because you got to remember that once you have the whole system set up, yes, you can obviously remove the rolly bags, but it does take a little bit of time. So with these dry bags, you just put all your items inside here, put inside the rolly bag, and then instead of having to take your items out, you just take the dry bag out. So it just makes it a little bit easier. And lastly, you'll notice that on the front here, you do have some bungee straps. So what's nice about the bungee straps, if you're stopping somewhere, if you take your gloves, maybe your hat off, just gives a good little secure location to put those for just a short period of time. So those are your rolly bags and the duffel bag. We'll also talk about that tin cup bag here in just a minute. But now let's talk about install and talk about those bases. Now as far as the bases go, like I mentioned earlier, you have two separate bases with this system for the unrack system. You have the E base and the B base. The E base is going to be for your smaller enduro and adventure bikes. And then you have your B base for your larger adventure and touring bikes. So with these, install really simple. Like I said, you don't need a rack system. If you already have a top rack, not a big deal. You just drape the base right over the top of your bike. And once you have it in place, you have three straps that you're gonna loop up. You have one on each end here. These are gonna go around either your passenger foot pegs or just around the frame of the bike if you don't have passenger foot pegs. Then you have a rear strap that's just gonna go right underneath your fender. Now in some cases, like we'll show you, you're gonna be better off using their tensional matic fender hooks. So that's gonna be if you maybe don't have a rack or you don't have a way to secure that strap. Now, once you have the base installed, then you're ready to attach your bags. Now, what's great about this, like I said, it allows you to use the rolly bags as a saddle bag. And a great benefit to that is it just keeps the luggage a little bit closer to the bike and more secure. So it's a big advantage you're getting with this base system. But you can see on the top here, you have a lot of hooks. You have four hooks on each side. That's going to be for your rolly bags. You have a lot of hooks here on top of the base. So if you want to attach some separate bags, which we'll show you, you can do that. Then you have this large two-inch strap that's just actually going to go right up and route through your rolly bag. 
and secure that in place. So once you have everything secure, it does a fantastic job of holding the gear in place. And so now, what we want to do is go through, show you the different bike setups that we have, just to give you a few ideas of what setups are possible depending on the bike that you have. All right, so first bike that we have up here, this is our KTM 500. So with this setup, think of more of your light dual sport adventure riding. So maybe your all day ride, if you can be maybe staying over a night. And with this, we've got our e-base. So again, for your, the e-base for the smaller bikes. And on here, we've got three small rolly bags. We've got one on each side. We've got one right here in the middle. And then we actually have their tent pole bag. So it's a cool feature from Wolfman. You know, tent poles are going to be obviously the longest item that you're going to be carrying in most cases. So this tent pole bag, you can see, just straps right on top of that small rolly. Now, real quickly, it's very important when it comes to install. On this bike, there's no passenger foot peg, so we actually just took those straps, put them around the frame. You want to be very mindful of where your exhaust is. You don't want to get those straps too close to your exhaust because it could possibly melt those. And then also, with the exhaust pipe itself, you'll notice here that we have the Wolfman heat shield. If you are concerned about your bag as being too close to your silencer, you can pick up this Wolfman heat shield separately. You just install it. It gives it a nice protective barrier to prevent you from melting or burning up your bags. So that's the setup that we have on the back. Now up here in the front, this is that tin cup bag that I was mentioning earlier. So this tin cup bag, it's small, but it's very versatile. And what's cool is that Wolfman has several different mounts that you can use for this bag. So depending on where you want to put it or the bike that you have, you have a few different options. So right here, you've got a base that's going to work for a crown tank. You have a slope tank base. And then you've also got, so you can see in the front here, there's a base that actually goes on the number plate with headlights. So you're able to run that bag up there in the front. But again, for your light dual sport adventure ridings, all day rides, maybe a single overnighter, this would be a really good setup. All right, so moving on down, we now have the Honda 250L Rally. So with this setup, we're stepping up in storage capacity. So think of your multiple day adventure rides. And you're also going to start to see some of that versatility that we talked about when it comes to stacking items on top of each other. So with this bike, we've got the B base. So that's the larger of the two. The 250L Rally, definitely not the biggest adventure bike, but it does have a pretty wide seat. So we're using the B base. But once that's installed, we've got not, we now have medium rolly bags on the left and right side. We've got a large rolly bag up here on the top with a small rolly bag right there on top of that center bag. So that's utilizing those uni loops that we talked about earlier. And then on this right side, we've got the Wolfman water bottle holder attached, and then we've got a Rocky Mountain water bag inside there. Then up here on the tank, again, we've got that tin cup bag that we saw with the KTM 500, but now we're using the slope tank base to hold that in place. So with the 250L Rally, again, if you want to bump up your storage capacity, multiple day rides, this would be a great setup. All right, so now we're moving on to some of your bigger bikes. So think of your multiple day rides when you're trying to get as much gear on there as possible or even multiple week rides. So the first one up is the Honda Africa Twin. So with this, we're still using that B-Base system so you can see just how much gear we can get on here. So with that B-Base, we've got large rolly bags on the left and right side. We've got a large rolly bag up here on the top. And then on top of that rolly bag, we have a small one attached to it. So you can see with this setup, you're able to get a lot of gear in there. Now over here to my right, we've got our DR650. So again, think multiple day rides or even multiple weeks. And this is where you're really going to see the versatility that you're getting with this system. And this DR650, this setup is what we actually will take on our adventure rides. Now this is the first time you're seeing us utilize this rolly bag system, the 303 bags, but you don't have to have that E-base or that B-base setup. Because with this bike, we already had the Tusk panty racks on here, but we're utilizing these new bags along with the current setup that we already have. So we have the Tusk pannier racks, and then we have the Rocky Mountain saddlebags from Wolfman that we like. These things have a lot of storage space. We put thousands of miles on these. They hold up great. Now, the way we get these bags mounted up is we use the soft luggage mounts from Tusk to get those attached to the pannier racks. But now on top of that, we've got the tent pull from Wolfman. We've also got our Tusk compact chair. We use rock straps to hold those down. Now here in the center, now we're seeing the 303 duffel bag from Wolfman. So the first time that we're utilizing that. So the duffel bag you can see is very large, a lot of storage capacity. We're utilizing the strap that comes included along with the larger rock straps to hold that in place. And then on the other side, you've got that Rocky Mountain saddle bag. But on top of that, we've taken a medium rolly bag and attached that to the top. And then up here in the front, we've got the Black Hawk tank bag, again from Wolfman. So this, again, is a setup that we like to use for multiple day, even longer than a week rides. So it just shows you just how versatile that system is. All right, so last but not least, we've got our KTM 1090. So again, this is going to be your long adventure ride, your touring ride scenario, where maybe you're even going across the country, getting as much storage capacity as possible. And like we saw with that DR650, this is a great example of how you can still utilize this 303 system with an already existing setup. So on this 1090, we've got our Tusk pannier hard boxes, but on top of that, we have the long rolly bags. 
These long rolly bats are the perfect size to sit right on top of these lids. They just strap right onto the hooks that we'd use for the handles. And what's cool about these is you can still get very easy access to the pannier boxes. Right here in the center, just like we have with that DR650, we've got the duffel bag. And then up here in the front, we've got the enduro tank bag. So again, if you already have pannier boxes, don't think that you can't utilize some of the options that Wolfman offers when it comes to soft luggage. So for your longer adventure rides, your long touring rides, this would be a really cool setup. All right, everyone, so that does it for our overview of the 303 Series bags and the new Unrack system coming from Wolfman. If you have any questions or comments about any of the things that we talked about today, leave those below. We'll get your questions answered. And to pick up any one of these bags, you can click on the link after this video or head over to RockyMountainHVMC.com. You can also check out the large selection of adventure gear that we carry. If you like this video, well, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have a lot of great adventure videos where we show you how we like to pack for rides. We have a lot of great how-to videos. We even go on our adventure rides and we document those and we share our experiences with you. Orders over 75 bucks ship free. I am Chase at Rocky Mountain. We'll see you on the trails.